another vintage tips and tricks video. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like this video, and come and join the new Facebook group that I have started, Vintage Tips and Tricks with Miss B Townsend. It is a very friendly open space to everyone, whether you are a long-term vintage enthusiast or whether you are just dabbling in the arts of vintageness. You're welcome to come join, tell us a bit about yourself and share in the tips and tricks that everyone is posting, whether it's pictures of your favorite icons or how you do your hair or what your favorite curling method is or the latest lipstick that you've discovered. It's just our little vintage community and we'd love to have you be a part of it. I will leave the link to that below. But today I'm finally going to share with you guys my vintage and reproduction haul, the items that I have gathered while I've been here in the UK for just on six weeks now. So I'm going to start with the reproduction style or kind of like accidentally vintage items. I kind of stole the accidentally vintage things from the accidentally vegan community of YouTubers. <laughs> accidentally vintage! But the first item is something that I got from Urban Outfitters and it is this beautiful fluffy cropped sweater and it is so cute. It's this kind of fluffy material. Totally vegan. Please don't buy Angora. It's like devastatingly sad what they do to them so make sure that everything you get is animal friendly but it is so beautiful and soft and snow white I love it I'll show you what it looks like on as you can see it is the perfect length to wear with high-waisted pants or high-waisted skirts like pencil skirts and stuff it's got a little turtleneck on it so it's quite versatile and I just kind of love it next up is a couple of items that I got from collective clothing which is a company that I have been pining over online for such a long time but being that they were in the UK and I was in Australia even though the items I think are quite a reasonable price compared to some other reproduction companies paying the shipping would have cost a lot and without trying the items on I was a bit nervous about the quality but having now gone to the Camden store and tried things on I'm just blown away by how good they are I really really love this company the fit is amazing and I have the issue of having like a tiny waist and a big booty <laughs> I know that might not seem like an issue, but most clothing is not cut that way. Like if you have a big booty, they assume that you probably have a muffin top or a bit of a belly. And so then all of the waistlines are much too big for me and I have to try and take them in. But sometimes you just want to buy something that fits you. You know what I'm saying? This company makes items for girls with that kind of hourglass shape, but I feel like they make items for all types of body shapes, which is awesome. But their pencil skirts fit like a dream. I got this really kind of beautiful it's like a sea foam green it looks tur turquoisey here but it's actually like a sea foam green color it comes just below the knee and it's got this like little button detailing here and these little they are fake oh no they're real pockets they're real pockets but the it's just really super cute very vintagey feel at the front they do things like put darts in at the back so that the waist nips in just for a very vintage feel and as you can see the whole skirt is cut tapering in toward the knee so it has an authentic vintage shape to it and it's just very, very flattering. It obviously fits very close. I just prefer that, again, Jane Mansfieldy, super tight, kind of sexy look, but I know some people don't want to show off their bodies quite that much, so you could get it in a looser fit. Or if you're gonna go for a tight fit like this, could always get a waist cincher from somewhere like what Katie did. I really struggle to find good pencil skirts that I love and I find there's not many of them in the vintage stores. I think they get snapped up really fast, which is why when I found this, which is part of the new collection, the previous one I got on sale, but this one is in the new collection in two different colors. It is super long. It comes mid calf or for me, because I'm a little bit shorter than some girls, it comes like just below the curve of my calf line, which is super flattering because I have very skinny ankles and quite big calves. So it makes my legs look daintier than they are in real life. And it is like a true 40s cut, but again, I've bought mine tight, so it is like super sexy. And with little fluffy sweater, I feel just very pin-up and cute in it. I just really love it. And with my new bait 1940s pumps, I'm just loving this outfit right now. Super, super gorgeous. And again, everything is darted so that it fits really well. The material is a great, almost like tweedy style material. This doesn't have any stretch. It is a true fit, so you do need to like try it on and make sure it's gonna fit you or really follow the measurements on the website. But if it does fit you, it is going to look fabulous. It isn't lined though, so be aware of that. You may want to wear a slip or something underneath. 
for a nice warm pair of tights if, like me, you are in the UK and it's freezing. On to some vintage items that I got my hands on. And that is actually an item I am wearing right now. I've seen Marilyn wear this kind of thing, not in movies, but in her normal wear. It is a 1940s style skirt. I don't know if it is authentic. I doubt it. I think it's probably more from the 1980s, but the cut is very authentic to the 1950s. Sorry, 1950s authentic. It is a looser fit but very much that kind of suit skirt comes at a fabulous length. I've been wearing this to death and obviously with that kind of billowier cut to it, I can fit slips and things underneath and stay nice and warm. And being a kind of dark slate gray kind of color, it goes with a lot of different items. So I'm very, very happy with that particular one. Then I also got this scarf, which I am obsessed with and I'm wearing constantly. I feel like it is very British. It's got a great tartan to it. It's the right size and that it's like quite wide, but it's not too big. It's not one of those oversized scarves, so I can wear it kind of to keep warm. It's not so skinny that it doesn't do anything, but it's not so big that it's kind of overwhelming my outfit. <laughs> I love that and it has got its little tassels at the bottom. I love the color combos. It is red and green, which is very Christmassy, but then because it's got the blue in there, it does kind of make it a little bit more versatile and feel like I'm not constantly celebrating the merry season. Last but not least, I got this, which I was like so excited to find at a place called Blue 17 Vintage in Holloway in London. And it is a gorgeous kind of like a waffle knit, I guess. It looks a little bit whiter on here, but it's actually like a true creamy, almost like pale yellow color, more of a cream, uh, like a buttery color. It's got a square neck on it, which is a style that I love. I've put the little badge on it. <laughs> it's very authentic. It's even got sweat guards on the inside. Like it's all completely lined all around the bust and everything. The material is very thick, making it very wearable for the warmer months. If I put like a skivvy or something underneath and a petticoat under the skirt, it is all, pleated all the way down and finished beautifully and all hand stitched under here so everything is handmade making me think that it is a true original vintage piece I think it's very versatile you could definitely wear it as a 1950s piece but I can definitely cross it over into the 1960s as well which is great because as you saw in my video last week I was actually wearing this dress I didn't want to show you so I could keep it for this video but it definitely goes into a 1960s look with the big hair and everything quite well it also matches perfectly with a pair of my favorite vintage earrings I really think this is going to be one of the staples in my wardrobe so I was very excited to discover that so guys that is my little haul I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and check that little notification bell so you know what's happening on my channel and come and join us on the vintage tips and tricks group on Facebook and if you want to get a daily vintage tip and trick follow me on Twitter for those I pop one up every day they've just got little quick tips that might help you out with your vintage hair style fashion a variety of knowledge is coming your way on Twitter so don't forget to follow me there okay guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye